Good morning and welcome to Garage Garage! Garage Garage! Garage Garage! You guys have all been waiting for this. This is the last episode of this series. That's right, this series of the XXL Crazy Car. That means the last one, we're choosing the best comment to give you guys one of our factory XL carts. So make sure to comment below guys because we are choosing one of you guys. Now, let's get to this list. Number one is build number two cart. Yeah, that's right, we're building two of these because how can you have fun by yourself? So we're building number two and we're building it a little faster. We're also giving both these cards the hot boy treatment. That's right, everything you guys love to do with your cars, we're gonna do to these. Number three, the reveal, what you've all been waiting for, seeing what you believe in, the proof's in the pudding. And that's what we're gonna do. We're gonna give you the proof, the reveal, the actual, ah, somewhere close to that. <laughs> okay, we're gonna show you what we built. That way you guys can have as much fun as we do destroying this stuff. And number four, final thrash. I mean, we're talking breaking parts and flying hoods. Man, this guy's <laughs> like spell check. Really? This is the wrong DAO. The bad spell check. <laughs> So what's up, Dad? Are you gonna help me get this shit done? Yeah, that's what help me. Like, seriously, we got, got 24 sweat. hours. Of, I'm sweating. And we're dying here. And we gotta get this done. We got too much to do, so All right. let's do it. High five. Go. What's going on, Daddy? Well, the new and improved cart, I like a lot better. We're not gonna be taking chunks out of walls anymore with big old little horses over there. I took a chunk out of the wall. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, chunks. So hopefully we're sliding along the walls now yeah. with that. Dude, I like it already. Just like, it looks so much better. Just the wider stance in the back there and then narrower in the front. We actually moved the seating position so it's actually behind the cart. And we're gonna put the batteries here instead of the batteries there to actually give her some more leg room. This looks so much structurally sound. Oh yeah, this is the money shot right now. That's so, so much better. Now it slides back, they flip around, Yeah. they don't hit anything. And then this is going on the outside. Yeah, we're gonna put this on the outside of the body to keep the knees away, because if Kurt was complaining about his knee and the steering wheel, so the body's gonna be free and clear, you're gonna reach over here and do it on the outside of the car. Yeah, if you see on this one here, this is the old one. That's inside, and it hurts knee. I mean, look, my fist barely fits in there. The guys that are five yeah. to five, you lay out perfectly in here. No knee, no problem at all. Not at all. Six two and 200 pounds, yeah. and all of a sudden the whole car is full. The motor power, we got the motor, so we can move our weight. Oh yeah, that's no problem. Moving weight is not the problem. That's no problem. Six and you did the, the dual motor thing again, I see. The same dual motor conversion again. I'm happy yeah. with how we had that work out. Yeah, that thing worked. And this seems nicer this time. <laughs> so what are you on now? Body mountment, body fitment, and the steering again. Body mountment. Body mount and steering. You gotta get the steering <laughs> to fit underneath the body mount again, so. All right. Back to that three day headache. Yeah. That we gotta have done in six hours. Well, let me help you. Let's get to it. Let's do it. We got a lot done today, as you guys can see. We got our steering all done. That's right, steering's done, casters are done, body mounts are done, even the have fun handle is done. We did a few things different on the handle. We put it on the outside of the body. As you guys can look back to the comments and to when we put Hurt in the car, his knee was pretty tight. So our idea was to leave the car free of any obstructions other than the steering wheel. And we put the handle on the outside of the car, giving us all this room for leg room now. So a few little changes, gonna do something that everybody asked for, and I personally agree, and that's the big wing. So as you can see, I'm working on a huge, huge arrow wing for this guy. And I know you're impatient about what we're finally finishing these deliveries with. John killed it, he knocked it out of the box once again. Thank you, John, appreciate working with you. He made these cars look extra killer. So, sit back and watch, cause you guys are gonna see something cool now.
All right, so the cards are done. We got a course set up, and it's time for a little test drive. Gentlemen, are y'all ready? Perfect. Oh, sick. Vinny with the sweet 50 50. Brad, I'm sorry for disrespecting you. Despite these being hard as hell to drive, that was actually really fun. <laughs> blown out. Yeah, you got blown out, Johnny. It still works. All right. Well, why don't you try it again? We're Lock. better than we thought we were going to be. <laughs> yeah. All right, let's try it. Should line that shit up. Let's get it again. Three, two. Wow. Wow. What's the, what's, the, what's the weight load on these <laughs> yeah. bad boys? Dude, those are the strongest rollerblade wheels in the front. <laughs> strongest rollerblade. Let's go, boys. Alright, stay behind. Thanks, Brad. Alright, gentlemen, to the staging line. So Brad put some good work into these things. I'd give it a, a 10 out of 10 for uh, idea and uh, a 10 out of 10 for just keep the crazy card XL because they work. <laughs> so honestly, it was pretty fun for like a sec. Yeah, we almost had it. While we have this course. You think you could do this in the Miata? You think you could do a man line into this line, spread that out like one, spread that out like three feet. Man line, this, back, and back. I mean, I, you got the course, we got the car. Oh, it's in reverse. Oh my oh. god. Whoa! Oh my god. Whoa! Oh my god. Who leaves the car in reverse? Mr. Any, any, any other gear would have been great even in reverse Mr. while it's parked Brad, on the dock. Mr. Destructor, no. does it again. Mr. Common Sense. <laughs> about crazy car double XLs. But what we've learned today is that we know why Dan loves shark car. It's a goddamn race car in the lot. I want to try it, but Hurt broke it. Ooh, I'm out of breath. Fun fact, Hurt doesn't breathe when he drives. Yeah, I get, I get focused. <laughs>
Hurt was the inventor of man line, and that was like the best one I've ever seen him do. I'll do so. it in my RX-7 someday. No, it's too low. <laughs> my first unsuccessful crazy crazy XXL build. All right, and I say unsuccessful, but Hurt had a good time. Hurt really did like this. So unsuccessful in my eyes, but successful in somebody else's. You know, that's what it is. We had problems. We had caster failure. We had some turning issues. But in the sense of things, we did have fun with the car. And any build, as long as you have fun in it, that's a successful build. The guy took eight years to build the original one. We did it in six weeks. How do you think we're gonna make anything better in six weeks? Probably not. And remember guys, make some goofy comments about Brad and his uh, sick bird crap welding or whatever you guys want to tease me for. Remember that the best comment is gonna win a Crazy Car XXL. That's right, one of these guys. Not one of these horrified creations that I put together, but a real Crazy Car XXL. So, comment below you guys. Stay tuned, yell at me, make fun of me. You guys got a cart coming, all right? That's a wrap! You know you like doing this to me because everybody likes the way I fuck it up. <laughs>